go. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. I'm Malcolm Shaw. I'm here to tell you about my company, Reliable Sun Power. Reliable Sun Power is in business to provide off-grid solutions to people that are in remote locations. Remote locations are areas which are not serviced by a utility. We have two concepts, which are stationary permanently mounted systems and a new portable solar generator concept that I've been working on. Let me briefly tell you about off-grid systems. Off-grid is really defined as not attached to a utility in any way. Another characteristic of them is they have a battery for storage. The way off-grid systems work is that solar energy is converted into electricity through a solar panel. That current is then regulated into a battery through a charge controller, which modulates the voltage for proper charging. The energy is stored into a, in the battery until it's required for work. At that time, the DC current is converted to AC current through an inverter. Our first product family are the stationary systems. Here's an example of a small building system, which is, uh, I call it the cottage system. This particular one will have a, is a base model, a price of $3,500. And it has three kilowatt hours of storage, which will be enough to run this laptop computer for about 30 hours. Here's an example of how this might make sense to somebody. If you're 100 feet away from the utility in this example, it would cost you $3,700 to establish service. The main costs in that are the trenching and the electrician cost. Our system, however, is $3,500 installed, no matter where the building is. Here's another example of a, of a stationary system. This is for a construction office. And this system is slightly larger, so it has a $6,000 price tag. Now, if you were going to connect this building to the electric company, it would cost you $1,380 the very first time you did it, and about $1,000 each time afterwards. These buildings are used over and over again as construction offices by contractors and would pay for itself six times. With, after six uses of the building, you would fully pay for a solar power system. Now we're going to get into the generator concept. First of all, let me tell you about gasoline generators. They have some severe limitations, one of them being that they're extremely noisy. They produce, a generator this size produces about 72 kilowatt, uh, 72 decibels, which is about the same pitch as somebody shouting. They give off toxic fumes, so they can't be used indoors. They require extensive maintenance, and you have to store and transport gasoline. Another severe li limitation about generators is that you have to physically start and stop them. So if you were camping, you would have to actually get out of your tent to turn it off at night, and you would have to get up in the morning to turn it on when you wanted power. In a head-to-head -head comparison, again, our system is $3,500 for a base model compared to the estimated annual cost of $5,000 for operating a gasoline generator. You can see that we, we actually have a very strong economic argument to make as far as our system goes. Who are the users for off-grid? We've divided the off-grid market into two sub-markets or segments. Our stationary systems have residential as well as business applications. For residential systems, the, the uses can be any sort of backyard structure. So you can have a little artist studio, a home office, um, a tool shed, any kind of backyard retreat if you wanted to, to have some kind of entertaining event. It, it's a nice little feature to have a nice building in your backyard. For the portable solar generator, there's the recreational uh, camper or RV user. There are the construction job sites. Instead of a stationary system, a, a builder might need a portable generator for, for his power tool in a remote area. And an exciting market that we found are caterers. Caterers need portable electricity, but they also need it to be quiet. One, uh, imagine having a wedding on top of a, a beautiful bluff overlooking the ocean, and picture the, the beautiful bride and everything, and then imagine an, a, a lawnmower engine in the background. It kind of takes away from the image. 
Let me tell you a little bit about the market sizes for these two particular concepts. The prefabricated wood building market is an industry of its own, and it's $350 million. That is not a market that we are competing against, but rather just verifying that we have a platform of a good number of users to put it on. For the portable generator market, however, we're looking at a $287 million market. Also keep in mind that we're competing against the bottom 10% of that, probably. We're looking at 3.5 kilowatt or less as far as the generator size that we'd be competing against. And we are competing head to head with generators in that market. So that is in fact the market we're competing against. Our marketing strategy is best summarized with the four P's of marketing. For the pricing, we're really emphasizing the value proposition and why solar makes sense over the alternatives such as utilities or normal gasoline generators. For the products, of course, the stationary building systems and the portable solar generator are the two main product families. For the placement, we're looking at direct-to-use